welcome back to the next episode of Near Automata. So right up here we have a new quest. You there! You must help me at once! What, me? My son put some kind of electronic lock on our house and hold his full self inside. I've been standing out here for ages and he's simply not responding to me at all. Uh, I think what you need is a family counselor. I mean, not that machines have families to begin with. I insist that you help me get this stupid door open. Just break it down and get my son out of there. Okay. Alright, alright. Sheesh. Yeah, that's an electronic lock, alright. Um, hello in there? Hello? Your mother is worried about you, so how about you unlock the door and come out? Well, looks like he's ignoring me. Proposal. Destroy the core to open the electronic lock. Now that seems to be my only option. And hack. Alright, let's get in there. Oh yeah, just cutting right through. Alright, this wasn't the most effective path, path but it's okay. Ooh, you, you took a bit of effort. You nearly got me there. Hey. Foolish child, I was worried sick about you. Why on earth did you barricade yourself in there? Because I was scared. I oh, were cut off from the network. I don't know what people are thinking. They're like monsters. It's scary. Oh, my darling boy. It will be all right. Mummy loves you. Ah. Um, so can I go now or... Oh, yes, of course. Thank you for your help. And take this, scientist. Give me more pearls, please. Uh, machine arms. And that's the most notable thing. I'll try to help my son deal with these fears better from now on. Cool. wonder if I can get up here. I think there's something notable up here. It's probably not. Anyway, I don't know what else is new besides that, but we're going to go out and find what's new now. That's the wrong way. Back around here. We'll head back to the resistance camp, but we might swing by and beat Father Serbo's face in. That's always a fun thing to do. I gotta admit, I, I take a special amount of pleasure in destroying Father Servo. I'm really gonna get him this time. His level 50 self isn't gonna stand a chance. Anyway, uh, eyes open for anything new or exciting. We can get into the city ruins if we move that box. Yep. Cool. And I'm gonna ride you over to Father Servo and start just destroying him. It is actually very important that we fight Father Servo right now. Turn around, buddy. Buddy, buddy boy. This way. You good now? There you go. I like how there's just that one animalistic machine running with the wild animals. It's nice. Okay, approaching Father Servo. Ah, he's still at this level! Sup, Father Servo? How you doing, buddy? Ah, the prodigal child returns once more. Uh... This is that same weird monk machine as before, right? Let's see, let's do this. Taste the forbidden fruits. Let's do this! Okay, Father Servo, we are now hacking. I'm in! I'm sorry, Father Servo, but your martial arts was never prepared for this. down. That went pretty well. How much do I take out of him? Holy crap, that ripped a chunk out of him. Man, I am betraying Father Servo's ideals of martial arts all over the place, and I love it.
get wrecked. Enough, I say. Show pity on an old monk. Wow. Go on. Father server requires a gold ore, a piece of filler metal, a pristine cable, and a large battery. I don't know, Tubi. What do you think? I feel like all this fighting is a big waste of time. Plus, it's starting to get really expensive. It's not a waste. It's not a waste. Our own skills improve each time you spar with the machine. Such wisdom may the thousand blessings of a random and unspecified god rain down upon you. Have you bought the required items? Fine. Hang on a second. Can I... Can I get on the map our collection points for those materials? Because not having a pristine cape... I'm, I have two pristine cables. I've been wanting a third for so long. Having to go back down to one is driving me mad. Yeah, Father Silver doesn't give a shit about me. I'm really mad about this. Ugh, I hate this. One order of useless crap as requested. Oh, -ho, now Father Silver can finally achieve oneness with the universe. You don't say. Just wait, my child, when you return. Father server will be more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Stripped screws, uh, range defense up, range defense plus, money, XP. Ugh. Screw you, Father Servo. You're ruining my life. Let's go chill with an enemy. So next up comes a back and forth trade with Pascal into the machine raid on the city, which will then open up the hole to the aliens. And then once we complete the fight with Adam and Eve down there, we get quick travel, which is going to allow me to do things a lot more. But as we've observed, both now and between last episode and this one, I can confirm all quests we've done last time and finished, stay finished. We had to start the Wandering Couple again, which is a bit of a bummer, but... At the very least, uh... It is a bummer. I have to get 50,000 G together again for them. At the very least, things we've done stay done. Which is pretty nice. Which means, side quest wise, we're only ever going to be making progress. So, yeah. It's pretty good. Something I really want to do at the moment is go back to the desert and check on the farming area. And if it's still good for drops. But, until we know it is. Like, I don't want to do that right now. What's going on in here? Any quests? Nope. That quest we finished for that woman is done. She's super dead and never not stopping being dead. Cool. Not cool. Package from Pascal. Fuel filter. Uh, high viscosity oil. Thank you. Any quests back here? None on the map, so it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Let's head back to Pascal. We'll quickly knock this over and go into the next battle segment. Well, what do you think? <laughs> he just started transmitting to us directly. Now do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's technically accurate. Yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like. So rude, Ninus. You don't technically have a heart either. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad person. Oh, but I do enjoy that quite a lot. I should probably be able to clean up the parade this time too. Once that becomes available. Which is good. It will be good to finally complete the parade. So this game's splitting point is probably going to be at the point with the uh, Leviathan, the big deep sea machine, because 9S gets lost for a while then, and we play solely as 2B. So in that case, it'll be as 9S. Now, is 2B kidnapped by Adam? I doubt it. So something different might happen. Maybe A2 will get involved. That'd be cool. All right, hey yo, Pascal. I've discussed the oil. An enemy is nice. We want peace, but it's not going to happen. After all, the only way to understand something. 
Fair enough. And explosion. What's that noise? Operator to 9S. Emergency transmission incoming. We've detected a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. It seems to be accompanied by a large number of machine life forms. All your members are ordered to engage at once. A Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it. I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I, I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. All right, let's move. Got to head back to the city, get in our flight units, shoot down some Goliaths. The storm is Operator here. Operator 210 here. Do you read me? Operator to 9S. I have bad news and I have good news. Bad first. We've confirmed the presence of two Goliath-class heavy weapon enemies. Two of them? Now the good news. We've used your previous Goliath combat data to analyze the enemy. And it seems we have identified a weakness. Command has modified a firing unit based on this new intel. It's been installed on a pair of flight units that are heading your way. That's your R&D for you. All right, let me save, please. Check your map. Fine, data. I don't need to operator save. Out. Thanks, okay, operator. No, I don't. No, I do. Okay, cool. Thank you. Quick save and go. 2B, command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. I was thinking a lot about how, you know, that first Goliath unit nearly completely ruined 9S and 2B, and then this time around we just got some flight units and tore them down. I didn't, it didn't occur to me those flight units had been upgraded specifically to fight them. So I'm glad that got, like, confirmed as a thing. Okay. I can't even see the Goliath from here. You can see the animals freaking out. Oh, there it is. There's already a flight unit distracting it. Pretty good. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. Yeah, there they go. They're going at it. But we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. It's cool. Don't even sweat it. I understand this map so much better this time around. Look at this thing. Can't even touch me. It'd be so embarrassing if it just turned around and smacked me right then. Alright, we're in. I think last time I did this climb, like up the stairs and such. Not this time. Just jumpy, 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 jump. Where are we gonna end up? How high can we go? That's an interesting question. I, I've been to the top of this before. I don't remember what's up there. Uh, looks like the way up. Okay, top floor. Nothingness. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We have to fight the thing a little first. Oh, that's bad. I healed, I healed pretty good, actually. I took that pretty well. Despite how much I screwed up, I still took that pretty well. You know what, I think I'm just gonna climb this on foot. That was a, that was too much failure on my part. We'll just do it the regular way up. I can't believe how brutally I smashed down Father Servo though. That was awesome. This martial artist was not prepared for my hacking prowess. But it really offends me now that 9S wasn't able to contribute this when I was playing as 2B. Okay, and machine time. Yeah! Damn it! Hey Angles! 2B! Displaying data on central wiring hub. Ooh, pouring down rain outside. As it isn't well it's not pouring rain inside, it's just over past. Wow, did I just take that really well? All right, keep just wrecking Engels' face. I think I'm gonna upgrade Pod B. 
I mean, pot C. This is pot C. I don't have pot B yet. Yeah, the dodge! Get them dodges, get them hits. It's all that good stuff. Uh, all right. You're just gonna st stay like this, and girls. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. All right, almost dealt with. There it goes. Let's get to those flight units while we can. I mean, right now, we are so obnoxiously powerful. Enemy anti-air defenses are on patrol at higher altitudes. A low-altitude approach is recommended. Got it. Thanks. So yeah, there's Engels who we shot down, and now we're going after the other one. Got a machine core, though, which is worth cash, so money, money, money. Alright, here's our second buddy, another Engels. So I guess it's just the Engels class. Alright, just keep cutting. Whatever, I'll just recover from doing damage. Doesn't matter, I can face tank everything you throw at me. It is impossible for you to defeat me. Goodbye. Absolutely demolished. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. And now it'll fall. It's recharging. And the ground collapses. I'm not skipping this just in case something's different. Even though nothing should be different, just in case. It's worth seeing this again. Alright, the Engels dis uh detonates. Here's a thumbnail I used for one of my episodes, not this one. What the Alright, alien detected. I love that the message is just the aliens Alien. who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? They're dead. They're super dead. Okay, let's get in there and quickly mop up Adam and Eve and get my quick travel back. It's the thing I want most right now, just my quick travel. Flight units did a good job. And let's get back to it. Yorha, this is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Huh. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I use command's data to determine the signal's source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? So... Ah, uh, before... That's weird. The fact that there's just a serpent up around here. That's strange to me. But right now, let's go check out Father Servo. Who is... You fool. You absolute fool. The chest is already empty. What are you doing? I don't know who I'm calling the fool. 2B for getting in here or these machines for wanting to fight me? I don't even care about this. What's going on with Father Servo? 
Hey. Well, what think you of Father Servo now? You've, uh, had a lot of work done. Indeed, and all thanks to you. Well then, think you can face the full might of Father Servo's power? Face the full might. Then we fight! Level 60 this time. Okay, cool. Why am I stuck? Why can't I move? Whatever, I'll just get in there and finish the job. Hmm. I'm gonna die. Yep. Oh, we do a lot of damage all the same. That is more than enough damage to be something. Or not? Okay, I'll, I'll do some hacking. I can hack this. I can. Hack and slash. There we go. That'll take a chunk out of him. Booyah! Did that! Did that ever? Father Servo is so susceptible to hacking. Okay, let's just hold your position here. Okay, flow with the blue waves. You can break this. There you go, got him! Okay, victory. Okay, we're done now, right? I mean, this has to be the end. Oh my child, how wrong you are. For Father Servo wishes to be truly strong. He must stake his very life upon it. Oh, for the love of... Grandfather Servo, no quarter! This will be a battle to the death! Let it die, my android child. Really, Father Servo? Fine, if you want to die, then I'll assist you. It's time for you to go, buddy. Okay. Follow the flow of blue shots. There you go. Done. Hey, Father Servo, I don't think you're built to withstand hacking. Is all. This is kind of like cheating, I guess? It's kind of mean, in a way. But also, I really, really do not care. Alright, now I've got some more troublemakers around the outside. So we'll just pop them. Oh, I've got a timeout. Whatever. Okay, Father Servo is done. Good. Now Father Servo can be at peace. For he has found a foe strong enough to withstand him. Here, your earthly reward. Memory alloy times five, power up part small. Ooh. Th thank you. Bye, Father Servo. Target neutralized. It's over. Huh. That was About silly. Goddamn time. <laughs> if I ever see that bossy robo monk again, it'll be too soon. Let me tell you. I suppose. Wow. Stupid machine. All he cared about was getting stronger until we finally scrapped him. But now we don't have to see him ever again. What a relief. Indeed. You miss him. That wasn't the attack I wanted. Alright. Let's take a look at this. Intel. Amusement park machines. Oh, I get to... I've registered them now that I went on a murderous rampage. Special unit machines. Goliath tank. Amusement park. Found in the ruins of an amusement park, this tank-like, the life class machine life form has a tread-based system of locomotion that lets it cover all manner of terrain. Appearance-wise, the unit seems to be part of the park itself, right down to its decorative lights and a turret that fires colorful confetti. Strangely enough, it also insists on obeying archaic traffic laws, even going so far as to use turn signals and brake lights. Okay, and Father Servo. Okay, Father Servo went even more radical to resign, including a snazzy red and white belt. Wasn't strong enough. Okay, donning a red belt and walking the path of the warrior to the end, Father Servo went to the afterlife, satisfied that he gave all in his final confrontation with 2B and 9S. What an idiot. 
wandering couple. I know where they are. Heritage of the past. I just have to take care of myself. Half a minute takes money. I don't know how to do game dev. Let's get in here. Actually, one thing. One last thing before we go ahead. Quests. There's those three. Events. Oh, God. I have to. No. 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 We're getting warping first. Then we'll go do events. They can't, like, lock anything out from me for getting warping first. What is this? Analysis. It is a cave in caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? That's a weird looking enemy. Yeah, I don't care about it. The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. All right. Hey, buddy. Spider Boy! All right, give me that chest. Better be good. Archive. Nope. A uh, pristine cable. Yeah. I mean, I still need one more, but... Can I save down here? I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. This hallway looks pretty old. Let's go get Adam and Eve. That's right. Last time it was, uh... 2B versus Eve. So now it's going to be 9S versus Adam. That's okay. Scanner open. Cut that out. Silly screws. They think they're standing against me. All right, and Look at all these here dead machines. We Seems like they've been here for a long time. Go. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. All right, Adam and Eve fight. Let's do this. The machines from uh, Dead? Wild Dead? Arms? Look! No, not Wild Arms. Destroyed alien mothership. What's the one with the god tier sprite? Welcome work? <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. We've upgraded his pants. You. To be. Look out! My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago. By us. The machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. <laughs> Aren't you quite the pair? Perhaps we can discuss our current situation. And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Rude. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. Whoa! We can become aware. Adam, you need to chill. The intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to. Adam! You are now my prey. Okay, I'm gonna fail this hacking because I've already taken too much damage. Basically like a fool. Yep, there I go. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why that? Because they are an enigma. All right, I, I wanna get one hack to win. 
Okay, this is an incredibly easy one. Nice. Alright, bye Adam. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What it could possibly drive such behavior? Back there. We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. Oh, wait for you to finish that dialogue. Their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. Well, I suppose this concludes Yeah, I, I want to negotiate the only solution is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. You must think pretty big of yourself, given you've already lost. See? Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Alright, bye guys. They're gone. The cool. aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. I don't think there's a chest out here, but I'm just gonna do a quick swing around to check all the same. I don't have any memories of a chest in here, but... I felt better checking. Look at how fast I run with that movement speed up. It's the best. Alright, we should get again? our warping back. What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Two B, this is Operator Six O. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. Hey, jackass! I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they finally got it working. Up. Hey, you again. Your commander told me to build it. Oh, and I got the stupid. Tr um, I've known the thanks. commander for a while now. Next time you see her, thanks, so Jackass. So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive. We've had this dialogue. All right, let's fly up. Anything in my mail? Nope. All right. Schedule correspondence for your members. If you have an issue, please respond. Even if you do not have an issue, we would not particularly mind if you sent a response. As it is possible, you might be able to use whatever bit of information you have, no matter how small, for future missions. Of course, it's also possible we might not be able to use it. Yeah, thanks, guys. Alright, save, and we'll head up to the bunker, and I will see you guys again when we are doing things that are new. And given all the side quests running around at the moment, I think I'm going to see you guys pretty soon. Alright, bye-bye.